Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for joining the channel once again. Daquan Lawrence, rising fourth year PhD candidate at Lee Howard University. Apologies for me uh, beginning off the video by working out, but I do believe that health is wealth. Um, and I also believe that we should all be ourselves. Um, so as an authentic individual, I also believe that authenticity is the new sexy. So again, forgive me for starting off working out. Um, in this video, I do plan on covering five things that you should do um, as a doctoral degree seeking student, no matter where you are. Um, I'm particularly at Howard University, which is known as the Mecca. Um, it's a premier historically, college, historically black college and university located in Washington, DC, um, and we have a lot of history. So in my other videos, I'll be breaking down the difference and the distinction and the significance of obtaining a PhD at a historically black college and university. However, for this video, I'm just gonna quickly go over five things that can help any graduate degree seeking student, but particularly those uh, obtaining a PhD or seeking a PhD. So number one, as you just saw me doing exercise, we all need plans for our physical and mental health. Um, graduate school is definitely a marathon. It is not a sprint. Um, and just like in life, uh, you know, victories go to people who endure the challenges and the struggles that we um, are faced with. There will be plenty of challenges and plenty of life struggles um, that occur while you're pursuing your doctorate degree. For those of you who have already obtained your master's, you know, and for those of you who have already attained, again, a degree, you know, whether it's on an associate's level, whether it's on a bachelor's level, or even on a high school level, life happens. So again, it's always important to focus and have a plan on your mental and physical health. Um, secondly, know your work style. We all have different work styles. We all have different times of day that we like to work. We all have different um, times that we're more productive and based on our life's you know, challenges. As you can see around me, I'm a parent, um, or life circumstances, excuse me. I wouldn't even say being a parent is challenging. It can be, but I think that being a parent is probably a blessing. However, um, depending on your life circumstances and where you are in your life, your age, the region, and especially your field of interest, you may have other things um, that come into play that impede on the work that you may have to do or which motivate and give you, you know, more uh, determination to finish your work. So definitely number two is to know your work style and to make sure that you create a system that works for you and your lifestyle. Number three, set up your workspace. Again, we now live in a virtual economy. Um, COVID is still happening. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's over. However, we have uh, seen a relaxation and an easing of regulations around the world. So pretty much, again, be prepared to work at home, on the go, and in, in as many virtual environments as possible. If you do have the access of you know, having an office space, whether it's at your job or your university, I would definitely say take advantage of that but be prepared to, again, be able to complete your work, complete your research, complete your assignments um, from anywhere in the world. I think that that would be um, a very advantageous skill to have in the future. Number four is to budget. Budget, budget, budget. Budget time, budget your resources, obviously budget your money. Because um, depending again on your, your, your situation, all of us don't necessarily get paid to go to graduate school. Some people have to work their way through graduate school. So with that being very important, again, um, know your finances. Always try to project as far out as, as ahead as you can. Three months, six months, nine months, a year, two years, um, and give room uh, for changes because things constantly change and things are constantly in flux. Um, so have a budget, but be flexible with your budget and be able to um, adjust based on, again, what's happening and what's going on. And last but not least, identify key individuals in your field that you can either connect with, that you look up to, um, or that you're inspired by the work that they're doing. For me, I'm in the field of African studies, so that would be the study of the, uh, Africa, the continent of Africa, and there are a lot of individuals who write, who research, who read, um, or who are talking about Africa in some shape, form, or fashion. There are those who are considered academics or scholars, and then there are those who are considered technocrats or experts who may work in fields such as public policy. However, the biggest group that I believe that I should learn from are actually Africans themselves. So I don't think that one, this is my personal philosophy, one doesn't need to have a graduate degree in order to be a scholar or in order for me to listen to them and to learn from them. So 
um, with my field, I kind of consider everybody, you know, a source of information and everybody that people that I should be learning from. However, specifically when it comes to scholars, when it comes to researchers, I should definitely be well informed and ingratiated with the work that they do. Um, and I would definitely advise that you do the same. So as a quick recap, one, make a plan for your mental and physical health. Two, know your work style. Three, set up your workspace, your life space, and make it adjust to your lifestyle. Four, have a flexible budget. And number five, identify key sources of information that you can learn from as you're pursuing your graduate degree. Uh, once again, please do like this video, share this video, and subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in more from me, I'll put all of my socials and in the, uh, in the in links in the description so you'll be able to follow me and follow along. Once again, Daquan Lawrence here, uh, reporting to you from Howard University um, for those interested in doctoral studies at HBCU. Thank you.